Dear friends, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. In 1997, I received a phone call from the Reverend Dr. Stephen Knoll asking us to step into a new role after 19 years as a parish priest and to become the head of chapel, director of field education, assistant professor of theology, teaching prayer book, sacramental theology, pastoral leadership, supervised ministry colloquiums, and pastoral care. I anticipated I would meet a need for a few years and then return to parish ministry full time. That was 25 years ago. Five years ago, the chairman of the board asked if I would step in and fill another position as interim dean president. A year later, I was permanently instituted and I pledged to the board I would serve five years in that role. It has been my great honor to serve the seminary whose mission and identity I have and will always cherish. I've loved the teaching, the students, the faculty, the staff, and the board. In my tenure, I've sought to honor the past and the wonderful legacy of evangelical Anglicans who sacrificed so much to give birth to and to develop Trinity. A reputation for the right balance of academic rigor in biblical theology and a passionate engagement with the practice of mission and ministry has grown our reputation worldwide. To aid this mission, I have sought to build a beautiful utilitarian campus that could be a resource not only residentially, but for the long and short-term training of students near and wide. The advent of the media center, the neighboring hotel, a new playing field, and an imminent restoration of the Trophimus Center gives us the capacity to be a resource to the Anglican Church of North America like never before as well as to welcome our ecumenical partners. Our annual report from the Association of Theological Schools indicates we are in a more robust and healthy financial condition than in the past. Although I'm quick to acknowledge our dependence upon God to meet operations every year. There is an ever-present challenge of enrollment with a residential community whose numbers have plateaued and a growing online community. We are weathering the season of COVID and by God's grace, we will press forward in a healthy fashion. It is my intention with the authorization of the Board of Trustees to step down from my role as Dean President at the end of graduation of May 9, 2022. Mary and I intend to take an extended trip out of the country and then return home in retirement. I hope to support the new leadership in any way that I can. I've been honored to serve this seminary, which is indeed a community on mission like no other. Please pray for the board and the search committee as they discern the path to in a new leadership for the days to come. So I don't I think this will be a surprise to many within the community. Um, I've been open about my plans for a while. Um, I'm really very grateful for a board that is alert and put together. Um, I think they're about ready to announce the names of the committee. Um, I think they had one or two that they were still uh, resolving. Um, but they're on it and they will be uh, looking and seeking and discerning leadership for the future. Um, and have a good one, they have a wonderful team that's, that, that they've pulled together in that respect. Um, so please be praying for that process.